Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to fetch documents from a MongoDB database. So right now we have two documents, one is for abc at gmail.com and the second one is for def at gmail.com. So first we will learn how to fetch one document. So let's say we only want, want one document, how do we fetch it? So let's say we want to fetch this abc at gmail.com. So to do that, we'll say user dot objects dot get okay email is abc at gmail.com abc at gmail.com. Right? That's how you fetch the first document. And to view it, I'll just assign it to a variable. I'll say print user dot email user dot first name <clears throat> right so this will fetch one document right and uh, let's run it and see right so it say this is the email this is the first name so that's how you fetch one document from a database right let's comment this out right so basically uh, this get will exactly get one document okay next let's say we want to fetch all documents okay so in this case what i will do is i'll just say user dot objects and, and and not pass anything else right i'll just say user dot objects so basically it means it is fetching everything from the collection and passing it into users. Now to view this, we need to loop it. User in users. And then I will say print user dot email. Right now, if I run this program, I'll get abc at gmail.com, df at gmail.com. Basically, that those are the only two documents that uh, is stored, right? We, we fetched all the documents. Now, there will be scenarios where you would want to fetch certain um, documents based on certain conditions, right? Let's say, let's take here the example of age. So we have age is 30 and age is 35, right? Now, I want to fetch all the documents where the age is less than or equal to 30. So, fetch documents by filtering. Right, I want to fetch documents uh, by applying certain filters. Right, well, how 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 would I do that? Let's say users is equal to user dot objects, and then I want to filter by age. So I'll say age like this two underscores less than or equal to so L T E less than or equal to thirty. Right now, this is the filter. This is the field age to underscore less than or equal to 30. So, to get the data, look it again because there are chances that there were multiple users with age less than or equal to 30. So, let's say print user dot email. So, now we know that in this particular scenario, we have only one user who is age is less than or equal to 30 which is abc at gmail.com right so let's run it it is got abc at gmail.com so that way we are fetching the document documents to be precise with age less than or equal to 30. let's uh, change it to say greater than 30 right and we know that def at gmail.com <coughs> um, um, satisfies that particular criteria. Let's run the program again. Yeah, def and gmail.com. So now there are multiple filters, or in Mongo engine, we call it as query operators uh, to, uh, to, to do this filtering, right? So if we go to their official documentation, we can see here uh, these are all different operators so not equal to less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to 
you know not in name all those uh, operators are, are available there are also something called string queries so like example exact so this means that you no know, uh, we want to fetch all the documents that exactly matches this particular string uh, let's take the example of that in our scenario and say i want to match exactly ab okay so let's let's try that filter this user is equal to user dot objects and first name underscore underscore exact equals ab uh, i have to put users user dot email let's run the program and see we got abc at gmail.com because it's now exactly matching ab if i would have written just a nothing because there is no document with the first name that is exactly matching a it's either a b or d e right so that way these are the different string queries so we can go through different uh, type of string queries as well and there are also different other queries like geo queries which is used for basically location but location and everything so you can refer to the documentation it's at docs.mongoeng.org to, to get all the different ways in which you can filter a particular query so that's it from uh, my end i hope you like this video please uh, do like and share and subscribe if you do like it thank you